Hey there, and uh, we're going to check the control throws starting with the uh, ailerons here. Let me tilt this up so you can see what the heck I'm doing. And what I'm going to use is the Great Plains AccuThrow um, meter or this uh, little device here. And this is what it looks like. So it's got a little scale on this side, and it's got two little clamps on this side. And you just sort of stretch it out, put it on the wing, and then uh, it's important to get it close enough to the aileron so you can see it carefully, and then adjust it so that the zero point is on the wing. And before you can set the zero point, you got to turn on the radio. Okay, radio is on. Turn on the airplane, and that. Radio on and airplane on centers the servos. Okay, remember, just turning the uh, airplane on does not center the servos. You have to have the radio on to center the servos. Okay, so now that is set at zero. Um, well, if I zoom in, if you can see that better or not. Yeah, probably, unless I move it, you probably can't. Well, okay, you're going to have to be able to see from there. Okay, so let me back that back out a little. Okay, so now you're going to see the aileron uh, move up and down. I have differential off, so and I'm on, um, I'll, I'll start with high rates, okay. And in the manual here, um, or the back, it will tell you what the control flow should be. So the aileron says up a half an inch and down three eighths. Okay. So I'll move. This is the uh, right aileron, I guess. So I'll move the aileron to the right, and we'll see if we get a half an inch. We get a half an inch, and then some. That's about five eighths of an inch up. Okay. So uh, I got five eighths of an inch up. And about five eighths of an inch down, so it's it's doing good. I'm going to turn the um, differential on, so I get same five eighths of an inch up, and now only three eighths of an inch down. Okay, so that's high rate. <clears throat> now what they say is three eighths down and half inch up for a hundred percent, or for. Oh, for um, uh, what they recommend. So what I do, where are you? There you are. So what I do is I make the recommended throws 90%. So I'm going to have a half inch up. And so what I'm going to do is put the um, mode on 90% or, or mid rates. And uh, we'll see what that does. So half inch, that's well, a little more than half an inch, so we go to mid rates, DR and Expo. Add on is set at 90%, so I'm going to break that down to say 87. Okay, so that's a half inch up, and with the differential, so half inch up. Three eighths down, half inch up, three eighths down. Okay, so that's ninety percent with differential, still at thirty-five. Um, so if I take differential off, I should get a half inch down, and I do. So half inch up, three eighths down, and uh, so my mid rate is going to be eighty-seven percent, not ninety, um, to get that half inch, and then if I go to full. High rates, I'll still get the 5 eighths up and probably uh, still a little further than 3 eighths, somewhere between 3 eighths and a half down. Okay, so that's differential. Uh, don't need to change the differential, and that's going to be the throw. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to stop here and then measure the other uh, wing off camera. You just do this other wing the same way.
Okay, so now that I've got the high and the, and the mid rates set uh, on the ailerons, I'm going to set the low rates down a little further. I'm going to set them for 75 with the uh, mid rates at 87. Doesn't make that, make it, doesn't do enough uh, if the low rates are only at 85. So I'm going to set the low rates to 75. The mid rates are 87, and the high rates are 100% for the ailerons. Okay, be back in a minute, and we'll test the uh, two other surfaces, rudder and elevator. Okay, so here you're looking at the elevator. The um, here I am. Here I am. Um, the elevator in the manual says the elevator should go up and down a half an inch. So it's going up an inch down an inch so that's quite a bit now every airplane is going to be different even two di even the same airplane two different um, uh, next stars are going to be different um, so the uh, with with the first one I built the I had the mid rates at 65 so let's see how 65 works and how Okay, so that's five eighths up and five eighths down, and then at low rates, it's a uh, little less than half and a half. So <clears throat> the recommendations of a half. Um, this is based on the experience of my first uh, next star. Uh, the, the half inch wasn't enough, so. I've got the half inch as the low rate, and I've got, um, let's see, that's low rate. High rate is uh, almost three quarters up, three quarters down, and the high rates are one inch and one inch. So, um, after flying the next star, number one, <clears throat> I felt that it needed more um, elevator throw than what the recommendation was. Uh, even for a student. So I've got low rates is the half inch recommendation. The mid rate is three quarter and the high rate which is a hundred percent is one. Now I'm going to reserve high rates all the time for for either an emergency situation or I'm doing some acrobatics or something. You never land on a hundred with a hundred percent. You should be able to land with mid or low rates and so the yellow that's the low okay so that's the low rate of a half mid rate of three quarter um, high rates of one mid rates of three quarter low rates of a half and there's another thing I just noticed too I think I bumped this okay um, the other thing I've noticed is this side of the elevator and that side of the elevator are not perfectly matched. Because it is a split elevator, that does happen sometime. I did not notice it on airplane number one. I do notice it on here that, that when you compare these across, and I take a, a ruler, stick it across here, and see how um, what the difference is. Um, and that's... Uh, there's certainly at least a, a sixteenth of an inch difference between this elevator and that elevator, and that's going to cause the airplane to 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 bank. Okay, so um, <clears throat> not going to do anything about it. But when I do the maiden flight, uh, it will likely need a great deal of um, of uh, aileron trim to compensate for that. And then once we get the aileron trim compensated, um, I'll, adjust, I'll probably do a mechanical adjustment plus some uh, sub-trim adjustment on the ailerons. Uh, so the ailerons aren't going to be neutral to fly the airplane. So we'll check that in a little bit. Okay, be back in just a minute to do the uh, uh, rudder here. Okay, going to do the rudder uh, throw. Can't do an overhead shot too easily to, to see this, but basically I'll tell you uh, how it's going. I'm on high rates, and when I do high rates, um, I get three quarters to the right and three quarters to the left, and the rudder recommendation is three quarters. 
and that's at 100 percent so what I'm going to do is keep it high mid and low fairly close so at the mid rate uh, I've got it set for 90 percent and that gives me um, uh, about a sixteenth less than three quarters in both directions and at eighty percent I get about um, another sixteenth less or five eighths so it's five eighths um, and at mid rates it's uh, eleven sixteenths and at three quarters it's uh, or at high rates it's uh, twelve sixteenths to three quarters so it's moving in um, the other thing is is that this is going to affect obviously the the control of the of the nose wheel and so I'll live with the hundred percent ninety percent and eighty percent for the rudder and um, remember these are all first approximations we'll test out what we need on the maiden flight and subsequent flights to see what's comfortable for uh, a student I want a student to be flying at close to the recommendations um, uh, at, a, at a mid rate and uh, leave high rates for acrobatics leave uh, low rates and mid rates to land with low rates is what the student will start out with and then progress to mid rates as he gets uh, uh, comfortable he or she gets comfortable with uh, flying the airplane okay so that's it um, hope you enjoyed this video enjoy the next one